Hey there, how are you doing? Team Nokia Power User here and we welcome you all to the hands-on video review of the Windows 10 Mobile Build 14393.321. Microsoft last pushed the Build 14393.321 to non-insiders and to insiders in release previewing. The Build is the latest Windows 10 Mobile Anniversary Update Cumulative Update Build. And it brings lots of fixes and improvements over the last build which was released to non-insiders. So we will first talk about the installation experience of the build. We will uh, do a hands-on demo and we'll evaluate the build in terms of different aspects. And we will finally share if we have uh, kind of encountered or seen any bug or issues with you. So <clears throat> let's uh, begin with. So coming to the installation experience, the installation experience has been quite smooth for us in uh, case of build 1439.3.321. It uh, did not uh, take much time and uh, it took around 35 to 40 minutes for the entire uh, <coughs> update to happen so through all the installation restart data migration etc to uh, being up and running so it took around 35 to 40 minutes for us so uh, this happened on uh, many devices that we have and uh, the thing that the update must have gone <coughs> quite well on for others as well now coming to how the build uh, actually works on the device so as we said uh, <coughs> the redstone is quite a quite a quite an improvement uh, over threshold in terms of general uh, you know feeling or general performance of the builds it's usually they are very smooth And as the time is passing and new cumulative update builds are coming so they are bringing more and more fixes and improvements so <clears throat> 3 to 1 would feel like one of the best builds that you have ever used so again i mean uh, while uh, during our hands-on time with the build we have not really encountered any deal breaking kind of bug for us the things like basics like uh, the <clears throat> wi-fi the mobile data etc these all work fine so we can just show it to you that so this is on uh, <clears throat> mobile data basically so just to demo that mobile data is working quite good quite well so if we go on wi-fi also so the connection wise and uh, it, it is all good so we have not faced many issues here <clears throat> so as i mean like it was uh, good on mobile data on wi-fi it's better much better speed so it, it works fine for us <clears throat> if you talk about uh, the general feeling with the build so as we have just seen the things like scrolling like uh, navigations these are all good if you go to the settings navigation so you generally have that feeling of uh, kind of homogeneity or uniformity across which is impressive We have uh, heard about some kind of uh, issues with the uh, display. I mean, when, when you try to, you know, change the display resolution. So then sometimes it uh, we heard that uh, you can encounter some issues. But with this build, we have not seen that kind of thing happening on a Lumia 550. It's a Lumia 550 in our hand. And uh, <clears throat> I mean, it's quite good that you can change the resolution of the and increase the size of the text, etc. And, and it remains fine. So 
I mean, that, that issue has been resolved as well. <clears throat> now, talking about uh, general apps, etc., multitasking and gaming. So, we will do that. We will do a bit of gaming. We will see how the multitasking works with the games on. So this is one game which is <clears throat> not uh, still a Windows 10 custom a Windows 10 optimized so it's a general like a Windows Phone 8 a game which is uh, just available for Windows 10 mobile so but still uh, we will just see how it works because you should be able to handle it so <clears throat> now let's open a game which is uh, optimized for Windows 10 so subway surfers <clears throat> So this will help us in understanding the multitasking part and how the performance is like uh, with two games open. The minimum we uh, obviously want with the from the build is that there should not be any major issue while doing I mean while checking performance while doing multitasking with the games etc. So let's find out. So let's send it to the background. Let's quickly check. So we can see that uh, the Temple and 2 is still there in the background. It will obviously take some time in resuming because it's a <coughs> not optimized game for uh, Windows 10 Mobile as we said. But I mean at least we can see that it is running. Now when you go to the Subway Surfer which is a web optimized game you will feel the difference and you can see the resume is so fast so with <clears throat> two games open we can see that things are okay i mean they are in control and you can actually use them so let's send it back to the background let's quickly check <clears throat> other uh, i mean multitasking with other apps or uh, settings how they appear and how they open so again here you will see the resume with the microsoft edge is quite fast there are no such issues <clears throat> it resumes so well What we can do is uh, we can obviously open other apps <clears throat> we can open cortana mm. let's uh, send the quote on the background let's open the camera app And let's send it to the background so that it helps us in understanding how the multitasking works like. Let's open the store app. Store apps, uh, I mean the, the latest update, it has been quite uh, smooth. The whole experience. So let's send you to the background again <clears throat> now we will quickly check the multitasking with all these apps and games open in background so let's uh, again check the subway surfer and it opens resumes quite well so that is really impressive let's check the cortana it resumes instantly so it's quite impressive again And we can check the store. Again, you can see that uh, <clears throat> with the build 143.93.321, the performance is quite good. It's on a Lumia 550, and you can see two games are open in the background. One is not optimized for Windows 10 Mobile, but everything works fine. It's quite good. Multitasking is good. We just demoed that <clears throat> for us mobile data, and Wi-Fi is working fine. So apart from this, uh, if you ask us, we have not encountered any major deal-breaking kind of bug or issues.
it all works fine yes when we come to the bluetooth there are some issues here and there we always say that bluetooth can help some kind of improvement so we are still not impressed with the ui and at some junctures when you <clears throat> connect the bluetooth to others uh, like through uh, connect to the car uh, to the cars like uh, cars entertainment system etc then you can see that some kind of you know it will not connect it there can be some kind of uh, randomness in connectivity it can connect it cannot uh, issues happen so the bluetooth really needs still needs some improvement uh, I mean, it may be better, even the UI may be better and obviously the connectivity part also may be better. But if you talk about device to device connectivity, Bluetooth is now working much in a much better way. We have seen a much better way. So with that, we come to end of this uh, <clears throat> video review. Okay, but before going to that, we will talk about the battery. The battery life has been quite uh, good for us. So <clears throat> now it shows us with 66%, 16 hours. But I mean... I mean, for a Lumia 550, we can say that safely it, it is lasting like 23, 24 hours on a full charge with a moderate to heavy kind of use. So that is quite impressive, if you ask us. So the build uh, 1439 3.321 is something we will recommend that you can upgrade to it without any, you know, without any issues or hassles. So with that, we come to end of this. Stay tuned. Keep watching. Thanks. Again.